you know, we're we're striving. I think we're all on the same page with this. That yeah. it's it's just another location or a tool, I should say, not another location. It's a tool that we can all sort of sink our teeth into without having to fight through all the, you know, watching of the ads and let me click over here and let me click on this. Oh no, it's not. Ag- oh look, a, a demon attack and you know, in the basement of Penhurst. Let me watch that. Oh, it was five minutes of uh, a stairwell, and there was no demon attack. Yeah, no, no. It's going to be precise, specific evidence, (laughs) like legit, legitimate evidence. And by that, I mean nothing that's, like, fuzzy or grainy or hard to hear or hard to see. It's going to be... And that's that's the the thing, too. Like, uh, again, with my example of the Internet Movie Database, anybody can contribute to that, but they have fact checkers. They have people who are going over all the records. So if you get something up there, and I can contribute to it from time to time, and my stuff will go up there, boom, in a day because I've contributed before and I'm active. With this, that's the same way, too. It's not like you could just post garbage. It could be checked by people who uh, are are in the know and who, yeah. you know, have no bias. It's not like uh, yeah. a Facebook thing where it's just going to be, oh, it's going to get a number. Like, no, it's yeah. this is going to be the, the – it is pure, I think, is, is, a, is a good word to use. Very right. good, yeah. yeah. And that's sure. the thing is – Sorry, go ahead, Brian. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, that was me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that I I truly believe in, in the fact that we will be checking it, so it's going to weed out anything that people may have concerns about with, you know, how, like like we said, you know, just a, a, someone's sleeve ruffling or rubbing up against a, a, a EVP recorder, a digital recorder, we're going to find that, and We'll send back a report. We'll send something back saying, hey, you know, we pulled this video off or we pulled this piece of audio off because of this. Or this video didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. It's not because we didn't like it. It's because it's not of the quality that we're hoping to have up here. Mm -hmm. We want it to be something where someone can click and hear and go, yes, I do. Maybe you don't hear exactly what the people hear or see exactly what they see, but there's something of substance there. Yeah. And that's what we're – You know what I would like to see? what I would like to see in this, uh, I would like to see some of those things remain so that people can tell the difference between something rubbing up against a microphone. And I was like, there should be a section that is just, okay, these are, these are understandable errors. You know, people thought this was evidence. Give it a listen. Here's why it's not. Yeah. And it could be a small, it could be yeah, a small section. I, I feel like uh, at least the people contributed those things as long as it was with the best intentions of, oh, I really thought I got something. Thanks for the explanation of what it was. So at least the learning of that, so the people who chimed in, the people who listened to it, said, oh, I know what that is. I've heard that before because I made that mistake. That you almost need to keep so that people can learn from that mistake and not just eliminate it because by eliminating it, they'll, you know, they'll never know that there was an error to begin with. Perfect. Yeah. And I, and I, I think that's a great idea is maybe Mike, we have Mike Diamond on the line with us too. Mike, um, is that something that we can maybe work into it down the down the line as maybe a section where we have, hey, this was thought to be evidence, but, and maybe have people listen and learn? Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, you know, the people that post that kind of stuff, it's almost a, a thank you to those people because they're helping us learn just as much as someone that catches a ghost waving to you on a camera. And, mm-hmm. you know, the, the database, is, it's, it's not just going to be posting pictures and videos. It's going to be... Um, a form that you could fill out in detail. If you want to timeline your entire investigation, you can. You could talk about what techniques you used, what tech you used. It's going to be very detailed. So even if some guy wants to, you know, put on a sheet and run around and post it up there, it'll be a hassle to fill out the whole form anyway. So hopefully it'll weed that stuff out. But, yeah, we could definitely add a page that just informs people of you might think that this is paranormal, but it's not because blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, perfect. Easily. That's perfect. Sound good, Brian? Sounds great. Awesome. I feel like great. we just had, like, a conference call here and not, not a radio show. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, thing, the people listening, out. like, okay, if you're listening right now, <laughs> this is, this is. I mean, what we've been going through, this is the planning stages, so... Uh, you're essentially you're Ian on the meeting, and uh, your role is you are you're the uh, the bankroll. <laughs> we 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 need the the money guy to come in and say, all right, these ideas are great, do it. And I know some of you out there are going, I could do this myself. It's a big undertaking. <laughs> That's why we're all teaming up together to do this because you can't <laughs> you can't do it yourself. That's why we need to all move forward together. 
notes, right? Yay! Yeah, look at how he did that. Look he at how he did that. Forward in there. He canoed it. <laughs> it was <laughs> that beautiful, really. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have I do have one off-topic question to ask you while we have you on the on the phone, Brian. Yeah. Well, what's the deal with the video the other day? That was that was kind of nice. I like that that little Flash Gordon fallback. <laughs> yeah, it was something. It's something I, I tweeted a couple of weeks back when I was out at uh, Post Town Elementary. I was like, "Oh, I just had a Flash Gordon moment." That was the Flash Gordon moment. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was pretty epic. In case you all missed it, you have to go on Brian's page and see what it was. <laughs> it, uh, like I said, you know, it was Monday, and I think some of us could use it. Yes. Yeah, it's there Wednesday, and I could use it. Yeah, no kidding, right? But um, so we're talking all things moving forward. The paranormal database is something that's near and dear to us that we're promoting right now. There's a Kickstarter for it. You have to go to kickstarter.com. Um, you can go to uh, the MGH Paranormal page. You can go to my Facebook page, Lauren's Facebook page, the Paranormal Warehouse Facebook page, Brian's Facebook page. We've been promoting the hell out of this. We have 34 people who think this is a good idea so far. And we're about, I don't know, what would you say, uh, uh, just a little past 50% of our goal. Yeah, yeah I, I saw it's, it's we're past the halfway mark. And, you know, honestly, look around at, at the costs that you incur every day. Uh, lunch will cost you 12 13 bucks. I went to go see a movie this weekend. It was, I think, twelve fifty per ticket. Uh, and these are things I, I saw vacation, and then it, it was okay. But, again, <laughs> yeah. throw away, throw away, throw away. If you take $10, if... Guys, if there's 50 people listening to my voice right now, and each of you just pledges ten dollars, that's hey, that's five hundred dollars right there. We're even closer to the goal, and yep. it's it's you're not even going to feel it. And when the site goes live, you could go. You know what? I I, I help bring this into being. This is great. Right. I'm going to start uploading my own. It's ten dollars. It's it's nothing. I could. Well, I don't have ten dollars in my pocket right now, but you probably have a, a ten spot in a pair of jeans that are sitting on a pile of clothes somewhere. And you know, honestly, in this economy, ten ten dollars is like the new one. And if you guys are following me on, on Facebook, I have five thousand so so called friends on Facebook. If each one of you gave one dollar, we, we could hit this goal. Bingo. Bingo. Right. Five thousand, um, twenty five hundred of them gave a dollar. We hit the goal. Yep. But that's see the thing is what you just said too is is you're not just giving us money. No matter what you make, at five dollars or more. Your name is going on our founder page. Yeah. You'll forever be a founder of Paranormal Database. Mm -hmm. You helped create it. You got it off the ground. You'll get recognition of that. Yeah. You know, the higher up you go, you can get a Paranormal Database sticker in your name on a founder page. Heck, give us 25 bucks. You get a you can get a moving forward T-shirt, or you can get a small swag bag with a, a database sticker, a Paranormal Database magnet, a koozie, tote bag, and your name on the founder I go on and on. One thing I was kind of hoping somebody would step up and do is if you pledge $1,100, heck, $1,100 would almost put us at our goal right now. That's a lot if of money. If you pledge $1,100, we'll take you to Penhurst privately for your own investigation Oof. at Penhurst. Yep. 1100 bucks, you get an investigation at Penhurst. Hotel, everything included. That's pretty sweet. For you by yourself. Not like a big group of 24 or 50 no. people. Like just you... Yeah. Us, Penhurst. What's better yeah, than Lately, that? they've been packing it in at Penhurst lately, so to get such exclusive access with such a small uh, number of people is unheard of. Bingo. Bingo. Bingo, bingo. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm answering. I just got a text, and I'm like, what in the hell? But, um, yeah, so, Brian, <laughs> Brian, why don't you tie this all together here and give us a little moving forward hashtag. You have not done this in an extremely long time, sir. I know it's only Wednesday. But why don't you give us a Friday? Give us a little philosophy here before we wrap, let oh you go for the night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> wow, I've got, I've got to be deep on 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 the spot. Wow. Uh, it can it can relate. It, it can relate to the database. Just <laughs> it could be database well, related. <laughs> well, think of it this way. Um, I mean, it's summer now, and I've I've been actually having a problem in my apartment with ants. And one of the things that you, you know, you just look at them from the outside, okay, they're annoying, they're ants, but you look at the structure of an anthill and the organization, everyone has their part, everyone works together, 
they just put their, their heads forward and then they do what they got to do. And I think of the paranormal database, this is not about, you know, this is not about me. And a lot of people said, hey, Brian, this is a great idea you're doing. And I said, no, this is not my idea. I can't take credit for it. So what I want to see from our paranormal community is a nice, tightly knit, organized anthill of everybody pitching in, doing their thing, and uh, getting this getting this ready. Because winter is coming. And not in the Game of Thrones way, but you know, this is <laughs> this is something this is something we've been needing for a long time. We've been needing to to move forward, and I've been telling everyone, you know, we're we're, we're kind of stagnant right now. So let us all get prepared for the winter, get our 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 ducks in a line. Let's get this database online and move forward, because I think uh, and until that happens, we really can't in any meaningful way. So. Uh, so let's all be ants and, and, and work together. And just like Archer says, you want you want ants? This is how you get ants. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Brian Cano. There you go. We came through. <laughs> Brian Cano is moving forward, and he's and he's very philosophical about it. Brian, we're gonna let you go, brother. Thank you so much for calling into the show and giving us your support tonight. And let's make everybody proud and, and make Brian proud. And let's hit that goal. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah. Good luck, guys and listeners. Don't be cheap. Ten dollars. Do it. <laughs> 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 Brian Cano, ladies and gentlemen, he supports moving forward in, in a paranormal database. So I think this next caller is going to give us a little bit of support and might have a surprise announcement for us, too. Uh, M- Mr. Caller or Miss Caller, who, who am I speaking with? Hi. Oh, hi, Grandma. How are you? You know, you never stop and visit me anymore. Well, Grandma, it's kind of hard. You're in heaven now. Give me that phone. Hi, this is Scott Grimmel. How are you guys? <laughs> oh, it's Scott. Grandma. Oh, yeah. Grandma. Just, just sit over there until I'm, until I'm ready for you. Now, damn it. No, uh, <laughs> Grandma's doing well. You guys are just, I'm, we're on, I got her on the spirit box right here. She says she loves you. What's that, Grandma? Oh, oh, Grandma. Oh, oh, she said your name. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Scott Grunewald has joined the conversation. Grunewald. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I've missed you guys so much. I've been working really hard, and I'm like, they just called me out to reshoot this thing, and I'm like, um, I know I've got to do this thing, and I mean, I'm all over the place, man. I'm having a really good time. I'm shooting again, and I, I love it. My ego's way out of control, like usual, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling it, man. It's good. It's good stuff. Well, what what what's this that you're shooting? What you doing? Can you talk about I'm it? I'm shooting a sh- sure. Um, it, it's not a secret. It's uh, it's been on for a little while. It's called Latched, like a latch gate. It's a uh, it's uh, on the Gay and Lesbian Network, the Logo Network. I play a gay father of a high school student who's struggling in football, as well as dealing with his father not coming out of the closet. But everybody knows, and it, it's kind of cool, man. I, I really. I really enjoy, you know, laying naked with the guys for TV. I can't wait for my 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 family to see it. <laughs> well, well, it's about that. I mean, you've been doing it for fun all these years anyway. So now doing it for TV is even better. I said the same thing, except that they shaved my back. I'm like, you're going to shave my back? And they go, we got to shave your back. I'm like, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I go, they, were, they said, are you comfortable with thirty five hundred dollars? I said, shave my back. <laughs> <laughs> You should have said, "Give me thirty-five hundred bucks. I'll sh- save the razor. Give me a lighter." Oh, <laughs> oh you know, for thirty-five hundred, you can pretty much give me an eye shot. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Oh my! And by the way, lighter is only for the chest hair, honey. Not, not yeah, the yeah. back hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Scott Grunewald, I'm glad to hear you're filming. That's pretty cool. Latched is something. Uh, is it? Please forgive me because I don't. I don't make it a habit of watching the Gay and Lesbian Network, but. Uh, is it on the it, air? Is it coming? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It, is it going to be broadcast soon? <laughs> it's it's coming all over everywhere. It's um actually it's uh last year they did a couple episodes and uh, it didn't take and then they brought it back and the guy who played the father is like I, I can't do this I'm I'm too busy doing something else and they said you know what you want to play a radio show host guy and and they go you're comfortable kissing men and I'm like yeah and they said well. Uh, Let's try. Let's try to do it. I went down on a red for it, and uh, they said let's let's shoot a couple episodes. And so yeah, it's kind of cool, man. I'm, I'm I'm 
it's 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 not as, okay. I thought it'd be kind of uncomfortable because believe it or not, I'm not gay, and uh, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> well, but it's well. uh, it's uh, it's all right, you know. It's 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 